Okay, so we want to make a Capto extension, and this uh, this is going to be solids that I downloaded from the Sandvik website. So if you go to their tool builder, or if you just go in and search for the item number, they have a lot of their step files available online. So when we look at the solid model, this is going to be exactly like the milling tutorial that if you've gone through that, it's going to be the same because basically this is the, this is the face that is going to interface with, um, you know, the, uh, the milling spindle. And then this is the face that's going to interface with the next capto holder. Now, uh, their solid doesn't have, you know, the pocket in here, but um, basically that's going to be the face. So all we need to do here, because this is already oriented along Z, is we just need to um, translate the work plane and then define a holder adapter, because we're not going to mount a tool to this. We're going to be only mounting another holder at the end of this extension. So you're going to have this capto extension to a capto holder and then the tool is going to be after that so I'm going to go to F4 which is going to give me the side view and then I'm just going to uh, pick translate from the home and then the manipulations for the work plane we're going to pick translate here and then I'm just going to snap to the center of this face and we see our work plane is there and then I'm just going to come here and type in HA underscore one hit enter and then file save as and we want to save this as a holder file a holder GDML and I'm going to add this to my list so we add that to the list and here we'll do another one since these are pretty quick so we'll look at this new holder <clears throat> this one's a little bit longer so these are pretty easy just come to translate you know the uh, the Z orientation is correct, so we're just going to again come up here to HA1 and then un ungroup anything, go to File, Save As, a holder file, and say Save, and now we can take a look at how these work on the machine. Okay, so I've brought in a machine. This is a NTX 1000, obviously. We're going to go ahead and uh, look at the machine from a clear or just turn the machine off perspective. And now I can get in here and take a look at the milling spindle. So when I want to add a tool assembly, in this one we have a, a lower turret and an upper ATC, automatic tool changer uh, milling head. So we're gonna go to this one and right click on the adaptive, add adaptive item. And under here, uh, we wanna go to the Sandvik come to Capto where I put mine and then here I'm going to do an extension I think uh, the NT, NTX 1000 was a C5 so when we look at each of these we can take a look at the preview so if you wanted to you know bring in a shorter or a longer one for an extension you just say okay we see that appear in the milling spindle I'm gonna say okay and as you build these uh, we can go in and add another adaptive item. So let's say at this point we actually wanted to um, add maybe a shrink holder on this. We can come in here and say, okay, let's add a C5 uh, shrink holder. So we click on that one, and when I say open, that is going to appear on the end where we defined that HA. So you can see there that the next... Uh, tooling component is going to interface where we define that at that HA. And then here is where in the milling tutorial uh, you're going to define your TA, your tool adapter position here. So I'm going to say OK to this and if I right click and I say add a milling tool, just pick an end mill here. And uh, uh, this one is, I'll make it maybe like an 8 millimeter. That looks pretty good. So we see that the tool appears correctly at the end of that uh, tool holder. So now, if I am programming in a spree and I say to myself, oh, I'm getting, uh, you know, maybe I need to get a, a longer tool assembly, we can come in and, you know, if you've made these already, you can come back to the extensions and let's look at a longer one here. This one looks like the longest one. 
So we bring that in, no problem. Uh, we can also come in and change these, you know, if, if you have this product at the shop. So we can also come in here and change the actual holder. So we, uh, we have a, a shrink fit there, but if we want to do a collet holder of some sort, um, if I have a short stubby collet holder, no problem. So being able to quickly edit your tool assemblies once you've made the GDMLs is, um, is very easy. So hopefully this will give you better collision uh, checking and more accurate simulation so that you guys can make better programs before they hit the machine so you can make parts more quickly.